time when we talk about heart disease, this is pretty much what women do, right? Well, we don't really want to talk about it. We don't want to think about it because we need a certain amount of denial in our lives to leave the house in the morning, right? If we really thought about all the things that could go wrong, could go wrong with us, could go wrong with our kids, whatever, would we get up and leave the house? We wouldn't. And certainly when something like what you just saw happens, your sense of denial goes away for a while and it is a very scary way to live because you know things go wrong, can go really, really wrong. And it is hard to go out and leave the house. But after a while, you get that denial back and you need it and you go out and you start living your life and that's great. However, sometimes that sense of denial gets in the way of doing what we need to do. Now, not so long ago, I went to a convention of fellow professional speakers. Can you imagine what that was like? The chit-chat level in the hallways is deafening. But we we're there for four days in Orlando, Florida in July. But we're in the hotel most of the time, except for one evening where we're free and we had free tickets to go to Universal Studios. So we went and we had dinner and there was 45 minutes left before the park was gonna close and one of my speaker friends said, hey, let's go see how many rides we can go on before the park closes. And I'm thinking, awesome, let's go. So now my friend Mike is six foot two. I am not six foot two. I have some big shoes on today, but I am not six foot two. So he's booking through the park and I am running to keep after him. And we get to the first ride and there is no one there. It is 45 minutes before the park closes in July. There is nobody there. So we go through that little windy thing that they make you go through and we sit down and this bar comes across my lap. I'm on the mummy. It's a roller coaster. And so we go. And it drops and it turns and it goes up. And about the time where it kind of falls backwards and the fire starts, I'm not feeling so well. The little sparklies are starting to come in to my sight and I'm starting to feel kind of cold, sweaty, and my breath is kind of coming short and my heart is pounding in my ears. And I think to myself, uh-oh, this isn't good. And then I start to think, okay, how long can this ride be? Four minutes tops. We have to be at least halfway through. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to breathe. <laughs> and I think to myself, okay, I'm in a car with my friend Mike, who knows I've had a heart attack. And seated next to him is my friend Jill, who is a registered dietitian. She probably knows CPR. But next to me is the very nice guy I met at lunch from Australia. He's going to have quite the story to tell. But I breathe, and we get to the end of the ride, and the little bar comes up. And at that point, I'm not really sure that I can stand, but I do. And I have tunnel vision, and I make my way into the gift shop, which is where, of course, they make you go. And I'm leaning up against the wall, breathing. And I start to feel a little better. And my friend Mike comes up and says, Are you okay? Because that's how Mike is. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm starting to feel better. And he says, are you supposed to go on roller coasters? <laughs> well, nobody ever told me I'm not supposed to go on roller coasters. And he says, it says right there on that, on that sign in big bold letters, people with heart conditions shouldn't ride this ride. And I say, I didn't think that applied to me. Because my sense of denial, I don't think of myself as somebody with a heart condition. Clearly, you saw it, I am. But that's how I get up in the morning and walk out the door, is I don't think of myself that way. Should I have paid attention to the sign with the big bold letters? Yeah, I, I should have. And I don't go on roller coasters anymore, because I pay attention to the sign. So I'd like you to think about this time we're gonna spend together is your own sign with big bold letters that says, this applies to you. Because it applies to all of us.